think I could um, best describe the culture but by describing the type of people we try to bring into our company. So there's four adjectives that um, I think best describe those type of people we want to attract. Uh, first and foremost, they're honest. They tell the truth. Their ethical integrity is um, paramount in our in our business. The guys that I work for, I trust, and uh, I feel like every day they're looking out for the best uh, for Texas area and everybody that works here. You know, the culture around here is so important, and it's what I think we have to protect more and more as we continue to grow, is to make sure that we have the right people in here, that we have the right people that we can trust, the partners, the people that make the right decision even when they know no one else is looking. Second, they're respectful. Um, they're nice, good-hearted people that uh, are courteous and appreciative of others regardless of their title or their role. There is such a mutual respect between everybody that uh, works at this company. Everybody from service to administration to sales and everybody realizes that nobody can do anything by themselves. Everyone is just really friendly, really helpful and they'll stop whenever I ask a question and um, they're never impatient, they're never condescending. The first thing I noticed was how helpful everybody was, how nice everybody was. Um, you know, Nobody here is, um, will ever turn you away if you need help. Third, they're passionate. They love their work. They love the people they work with, their coworkers. They love their customers. Um, they get excited when they come to work every day. We come to work every day and we're living with this passion of what we do. We're the, we're the strongest people in our industry. We, wor we work, we represent our manufacturers with integrity. You get to see uh, good people come to work wanting to do great things and you really get to be a part of seeing them accomplish great things. And they're smart. We have a super talented um, bunch of associates here and they are um, respected throughout the industry as the best of the best. I'm working around the smartest people I've ever worked around in my life some of the most talented people I've ever been around in my life. The collection of talent that we have here to do anything we need to do. It's great to uh, have a whole company full of people that all have the customer's best interest in mind and are looking to um, do whatever it takes to create a great customer experience rather than the bare minimum or just enough to get by. Essentially, I'm an entrepreneur running my own business. Although I'm an employee of Texas Air, it's within my power to make all the business decisions that I need to make on a day-to-day -day basis um, to do the right thing for my customers and do the right thing to make money for us. Give everybody the opportunities to run their own business, give them direction, give them guidance, give them goals, but allow them to to run it as they see fit, you know, with our core values in mind. The freedom to be creative and go find a solution and implement a solution and find a sale and make a sale and it's just, it's wonderful. You got the reins, you take off, um, act like it's your business, treat it like it's your business, treat it like it's your money you're spending. Not too many companies will do that. Uh, the ones that I worked at before wouldn't do that and that's why I'm not there anymore. We have a work hard, play hard type environment. Um, some, some days we're working 12 and 14 hour days and some days we, we shut it down early and have a happy hour, go to a ball game, um, go to a concert, enjoy, enjoy each other's company. Going to Texas Rangers games, going to Stars games, having happy hours. The car races and the horse races, and we do th fun things around the office. It's anniversary parties, ice cream parties, taco parties. We created a culture committee, or culture club as we like to call it, that um, is focused on fostering that work hard, play hard mentality and and making sure that people are are having fun in addition to working hard. Uh, we get together and we just think of things that will get people out of that mindset of, you know, sitting at a computer working, but you're gonna go have fun and get everyone out of that work mindset to have a good time and just kind of relax. Every year I'm in charge of, of our Texas Air Systems cast and blast down at the, the coast. We go down uh, to Sea Drift, Texas. We bay fish, we fish for speckled trout and redfish and, and we go dove hunting in the afternoon and it's about a two or three day deal. 
and uh, our customers love it and they, they get to where they, they know it's coming every year, they want to be invited. Well, I'm sure you've heard about the Mardi Gras party that we have every year and that's, you know, the highlight of the year. We brought the manufacturers, we brought our customers, and we brought all of our people together, even from other offices, together in one place to really demonstrate the, uh, the, the breadth of Texas Air Systems and, and all the different capabilities that we have in our business. And that has just turned into a annual event that people look forward to. Um, we have in excess of, of 800, 900 folks, I think, the last couple of years. It is the best of the best at everything that we do. Nobody else in the entire country does anything like it. So if you really wanted to talk about a network event in North Texas, in our industry, Mardi Gras at Texas Air Systems is the place people want to be. We look for opportunities to help others in our community and in our industry. Sometimes it's participating in, as a group in an industry event. For the last several years, we've done a family tent at the March of Dimes, uh, March for Babies event. We regularly uh, work at the North Texas Food Bank, usually on a Saturday morning. Another event that we um, have done every year is a Hearts and Hammers event. And so we volunteer um, both our time and our money to refurbish the home. In 2014, uh, we had uh, contributions exceeding $15,000 to two local uh, hospitals. Uh, one of our last events we had was at Easter and we were tying it in with the NCAA tournament. So we had a, a nacho bar and a kind of sports themed event. But at the same time through our charitable giving committee we were also building Easter baskets for some sick kids. And somebody had to step up to the plate and be an Easter bunny so that was I very happily wore that suit. It's pretty easy to stroke a check. It's a little bit uh, more challenging sometimes for people to give time and we're very focused on making sure that we're giving time back to the community as well as money. The growth of Texas Air Systems has, has been a lot of fun and, and has, has, uh, has taken something like air conditioning which is really not all that sexy or glamorous. And, and made it feel more like that you're, uh, you're doing something cool like working for Google. Once you come here, you never want to leave. It's a great place to work. So not only do we have an environment that is easy to, to be around and very comfortable, we have an environment that's very challenging, it's very competitive. You just have to experience it. And it starts from the ownership all the way down to the, the newest person in the company that came in. It was probably within the first month or two of arriving to Texas Air Systems that I had that kind of overwhelming feeling of, I'm home, I'm done. This is it, as long as I'm gonna be in this business, this is where I'm gonna be because there isn't any place better.